We're recording. Go ahead and uh, <laughs> say Uncle Q, take one. Uncle Q, take one. Okay, now get out of the picture. Clear the clear the frame. Okay. So, what, am I, what am I supposed to do? Sit back, relax, and talk about your life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you were born in Utah. Hurricane. Hurricane. At home. At home. Yeah. And then in those days, there was no hospital in Hurricane. So, and uh, when I had my tonsils out, my grandfather carried me across the street to the doctor, doctor's house. See, there was no, no hospital then. Did you know that I got a pilot license before I, I knew how to drive the car? No way. You don't believe that? <laughs> I, I remember hearing that. Tell, tell. Well, I, I, I was... Dixie College, and they had a pilot training class. This was just before the war. And uh, I got a pilot license, and, and, and uh, uh, I, I went to the university there with a friend. I mean, he drove back and forth from a hurricane. So I got a pilot license before I... <laughs> I had a driver's license. So, any any adventures flying that you can recall? No. Uh, when I did my solo, but I had to fly from St. George to Cedar City and then over to uh, um, this little town in the west and then back to St. George. And nothing like and the, the, the uh, in St. George, the, the airport was on, up on a cliff, and uh, there was always problems with, with downdrafts. And, uh, and uh, when, I, when I was taking my final test, the instructor, he said, Sonny, Get me on the ground, and, and you've got your license. <laughs> That's all I was. <laughs> so when, when did you get married, and uh, how did you end up in Arizona? Oh, well, I was getting married in, in uh, Seattle. And we had two, two little kids, uh, and they weren't too well, so... Uh, we decided to move, move to Arizona. I, when I was in the, the Army Air Corps, I was doing my basic at uh, Denver. And uh, they shipped us from Denver to Taft, California. And uh, when, when we left Denver, they were having a, a terrible blizzard. And we were on the train. and, and uh, we stopped in Phoenix, and it was like in the middle of summer. I always rem remembered that, so mm -hmm. that, that's why we came back here. Mm -hmm. We came back here in 1953. We've been here ever since then. Where was your mission at? You served a mission? Northwestern states, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and... and uh, Montana. Um, covered a lot of area. Which was yeah. your favorite area that you served in? Well, I don't know if I had a favorite, but I, I was mostly in on the West Coast and little towns in there. Who was that? Who was Portland, the Portland, Oregon, and Corvallis. Oh, Corvallis, huh? Yeah. 
Did you? Uh, so you ne never lived in California when your no. mom lived. Your mom lived there, right? No, I never lived there. Yeah, she never lived in California. And uh, did did she pass away in Long Beach or? That's right. That's right. Uh, that's where she. That's where she died. Yeah. yeah. She had a heart attack. Yeah, she's only sixty. My dad lived to be uh, uh, short of uh, one one month short of ninety first birthday. Ninety one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be ninety three in September. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, you look awesome. Like you're doing really good. What would what would you say? about your life and about life in general. What do you mean? Just any advice for us, for anybody? Well, any? I never drank, I never smoked. Uh, but I take a lot of vitamins. You're a peaceful person, Uncle Key. You have a peace about you. Well, I'm... I never get riled up too much. The only time I get riled up is when I'm try, trying to do something that I can't do now. It's frustrating. I, I can't tie my, shoe, tie my shoes. That's right. What do you do to make your wife happy for many years? <laughs> No, actually, I'm I'm going to. Uh, um, uh, I get a pedicure. Pedicure. What do you do? Huh? That's nice. They they clean my no, my te, my uh, t toenails. Does that make your wife happy? <laughs> <laughs> so you were um, married briefly initially. And then yeah, when I when I when I uh, got off my mission in Seattle, um, I met a girl there, and we did get married, but it didn't last. And and I met uh, um, Anna V at a gold green ball. And I was singing a solo at the green, golden green ball, and I met her there. And so I, I know you sing. Do you still sing? I sing in the choir. Okay. You know, as you get older, your voice gets lower, and somebody I don't know who it is keeps moving middle C higher all the time. <laughs> Do you want to sing us a, a line off of your favorite song? No, not. <laughs> what is your favorite? What's your favorite hymn? My favorite hymn? Yeah, I don't know. Or your favorite her? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, you look you look great, and I hope uh, you're around. A little longer. You look like you remind me of uh, my dad. When I see him and you, I see Grandpa and you, your dad. Well, I don't have a long beard. Yeah, you got to work on the beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He told me one time that he was uh, uh, pl playing Santa Claus. This little kid was sitting on his lap, and he looked up and he said, "You're not a real Santa Claus." And Wayne says, well, "Why do you say that? Because you have a real beard." <laughs> and all of Santa Claus he's seen were fake. Oh. Right. That's funny. That's about it. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, what else do you want to say about our our father or any of your siblings? You want to talk about them at all? Or your feelings, your thoughts? Well, just stay close to the church.
Um, I don't know what we'd do if we didn't have a church. Um, you know, um, the Apostle Paul said, if, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But, but our hope in Christ is not in this life, it's in life to come. Next life. Yeah. Can I say amen now? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.